Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, and I have an update for you guys with the Bat Bunker. Today, I'm gonna to show you the LEDs. I have all of the LEDs installed at this point, which is very exciting, of course, in the cabinets, in the back cabinets as well. Obviously, all of these lights up above can also be changed color. And so I'm gonna show you just some of the different combinations that you can use. Um, and again, this is basically just gonna be background, like when I'm streaming and things like that. The lights will pretty much mostly be white most of the time, but I wanted something cool, just to have as a cool visual for the backgrounds on the channel. And so let me show you what I have cooking back here. All right, guys, so this is just an example of uh, some of the lighting effects that you can do with these lights. Um, obviously, you know, I would mostly have them white, but uh, it's really cool what you could do with these things. Obviously, there's a lot of different things you could do. Um, and uh, obviously, when you turn on the light, you're still going to get some cool effects, um, you know, just to add some visual interest to the background. It's going to be a lot of fun, but... I want to show you a couple of, of different uh, patterns, basically. So this one right here is called Aurora. So again, just kind of cool to see some different effects that they do, different patterns and stuff. But I mean, come on, how cool is this, <laughs> right? It's really fun. So this one's pretty crazy. This one's called Rainbow. And again, you can slow the speeds down, change it, uh, all sorts of different things, but very, very cool to see what this could all do. This one's pretty crazy. This one's called Forest. <laughs> Has kind of a shimmer effect. Pretty awesome. Again, just some different patterns, different things. It's pretty cool to see. This one's kind of a fall Halloween one. Um, I'm also noticing that you can see there's green here. Uh, when they installed the LEDs, um, I think there's a short in this one. It lights up, um, but I've got to bang on it a little bit. So I'm going to maybe need to rewire that a little bit. So that's why that's green. But whenever I get it all figured out, of course, it'll look, uh, it'll all be matching. But uh, I did want to point that out. That's something I still need to work on. Then, of course, you could do just standard colors. Uh, this is red, as you can see. So we've got red. Here's a purple color scheme. Uh, you can do blue, yellow, orange, you know, just standard colors. Um, if you wanted us to have a consistent color like that. But uh, again, just it's cool that you can basically do whatever you want with these lights. Here's kind of a light blue. I actually really like this color scheme uh, for the Bat Cave. I think it's really awesome. So again, you know, it's something that, you know, you won't need on all the time, but it's just nice to have the option to be able to do something different in here. And then uh, I'm going to walk over here, turn on the light switch. And you can see what it looks like just lit up, you know, that, again, that's that kind of that blue light, um, but it's going to light up the statues really nice and uh, definitely give the room some variety. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about with the lights. And I did want to show you, this is basically what it is. It's the um, RGBIC Pro from Govi. Um, they're Govi lights. Um, there's also like an a M51 that's supposedly better and it is, there's the LEDs are a little bit closer together. Um, but let me kind of show you what's inside of this package so you can see what you're going to get. So these are 32.8 feet. That's why I got them because I needed, you know, long spans basically. Um, and I believe those uh, M50s that are a little bit better, um, they are, I think they were only like 15 feet um, and you can't join very many together. And so that's why I opted with this. Um, it is Wi-Fi enabled. Um, there are pro strips. Um, and so basically this is kind of what you get. Now these have been cut, but you get the spools. Um, they are, you know, flexible. They have that kind of plastic to them. Uh, but you saw in the cabinets how bright they are, um, which is really, really great. Um, and again, each one comes with a spool, again, 30, 32 feet long. Um, so I had plenty, you know, I bought quite a few of these. Uh, here's the remainder, so where they cut them. But I did want to show you those. I also want to show you kind of how... Um, we did these, we kind of put two side by side, as you can see. Um, the only thing is, is like you can kind of see these uh, whenever you're lower, uh, this cabinet. So I might try to put some sort of lip. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Um, but as you can see, uh, Derek is uh, starting to put uh, the shelves in. Uh, even the bottom shelves now, he's still you know, getting those custom fit into place. He's still got to putty them and stuff like that. Um, but... 
I did want to show you at least that to kind of, you know, show you kind of where we're at. Um, he thinks that this process I should be able to paint by the end of next week. Um, so again, fingers crossed, I'll be able to do that. Um, then again, we also have like, again, the baseboard, the trim, things that are on the, on the crown, just waiting to be put in. Um, the door trim and stuff like that is, is also next. But again, the big part is going to be painting this black. Um, I'm going to prime it, uh, and then seal it obviously, uh, with the shiny black. And so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Again, we're getting really, really close here. Um, definitely there's going to be flip the camera around. Like there's areas where they've been just, you know, beat up, uh, where Derek put the shelves in. Obviously, you know, I'm just gonna have to re retouch up the paint, uh, which is gonna be okay. Um, you know, it probably needed it anyway. Uh, so yeah, definitely gonna touch up a few of the areas. Yeah, right down there <laughs> for sure. Um, where it went in a little bit. I probably should have just waited to paint, but I was impatient and I wanted to start painting. I wanted to get this thing moving along. So uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the LEDs. Um, I think it's awesome, uh, all the effects they can do. And what I showed you is just, you know, a fraction of the uh, the millions of combinations you can do with colors, uh, how you can do the different settings and things like that with the Govi app. Uh, so if you want to check it out, download the Govi app and it'll kind of show you the different scenes you can do. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So <clears throat> anyway, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you watching. And uh, I'll film another video here as we get going with the uh, the tops and the paint. See you guys in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, pardon the interruption, but I want you to check out these awesome new gaming chairs. This is from eWin Racing. Absolutely incredible chair, and this is one of my sponsors here on the channel. I cannot recommend this chair enough. It is absolutely fantastic and really well built. It holds up to 400 pounds, and again, it is just an awesome, awesome chair. Lots of bells and whistles with this one. If you use code BATMAN at checkout, you can save 20%, so the link is down below in the description. Definitely check them out. I think you're really going to enjoy the chair. Again, 20% off at checkout with code BATMAN. I just cannot recommend this chair enough. Heavy duty, really, really well made. Awesome, awesome chair from eWin Racing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.